How's it going guys? It's Poetry Son and welcome back to another episode of the Ireland campaign in Europe Universe House 4. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't really remember what was going on because it's a new day of recording. Uh, and I might, I might actually only be recording one episode right now actually because of the fact that I think this campaign is starting to draw to a close. Um, and you may be saying, oh well why? Well, there's a couple reasons why. Um, it is unfortunate, but I don't think we're going to be able to finish this campaign before the expansion comes out, and that's the main thing. The expansion, uh, Mandate of Heaven, is coming out in a few, well, like a week, right? About a week now. Um, but I'm going to be trying to get a review copy for it, and if I am, then I'm going to be busy for the next couple of days recording for that. And we won't really want to play in this old, outdated patch anyways. So I do think that what we're going to do, basically, is... Um, I think we're just gonna we're gonna have to say we're, you know it was a good learning experience and there were some funny moments and stuff like when Morocco conquered uh, Lisbon for a while stuff like that was really fun but we're probably gonna end up uh, in the series after this or the next episode I'm not sure which but anywho let's not worry about that now though let's just for the rest of this campaign let's just focus on what we can do now which is probably not much actually. <laughs> We're, we're still in massive amounts of uh, debt. Not massive, not truly massive, but pretty large amounts of debt. Um, let's go ahead and just take the trade ships and put them on protect trade in the English Channel. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I've had a good time with this campaign, and I definitely want to come back to it and try to do this to human at some point in time. But, you know, there's a long list of stuff that I started or and or failed or just not finished. Um, so, you know, <laughs> who knows if I'll ever get around to the ball. But, you know, there's, like, the big blue blob is what I wanted to do. I did a little bit of that on stream before, attempting to do it. Um, so, I don't know, there's, there's ways I could, you know, come back to this. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know, it's been a, it's been a nice time, I would say. It's, we've done a lot better than I actually thought I would, um... I'm just annoyed that we couldn't get more of Ireland to start with. Obviously, um, the English own part of, you know, Ireland to start with. But you can normally, if you play it smart, I know you can get all the rest of Ireland under your control or everything but one other one. Um, so the fact that we weren't able to it was a little sucky. We actually missed out on two other opportunities. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, I don't know. It's... <clears throat> it's it's been an interesting an interesting campaign that's for sure uh, Norwegian separatists huh, in Shetland okay can we raise autonomy there nope not really um let's go and take you huh <clears throat> but yeah I don't know it's it's been an interesting campaign um but for the rest of this you know since we're kind of wrapping up the the series in this or the next episode I do want to ask you guys for your opinions about some stuff for instance you know what sort of uh, what sort of other what sort of campaigns you want to see in the new patch because that's something that I could spend a while talking about um, you know we, we we're gonna have uh, it really is gonna flesh out a lot of stuff in Eastern Asia, so like China and Japan and Korea, Tibet, you know, um, Southeastern Asia, um, any nation that has a nomadic nation, they all have tributaries now. There's, you know, uh, all the Eastern religions also have tributaries and stuff, the Eastern religion group. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of, you know, really cool things being added I'm really excited for it, but I want to know what you guys want to see next because this again in you know I, it does make me feel a little bad that this campaign was fairly short actually I feel a little bad in that we really didn't get too far and get to experience too much of the flavor of this campaign um, so I, I, I kind of feel bad I was like I was kind of debating maybe I'll just like keep reverting to the patch and then recording this but I was like nah it's probably not no one's probably gonna really watch that <laughs> Um, and I don't really feel like doing that. It's, it's, it takes a lot of work and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing that. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, instead, why don't we just restart, you know, and and hopefully you guys understand my reasoning behind that. But I don't know. In general, I just, uh, I, I you know, I've had fun with it, but um, I think we're going to go in, bleh, excuse me. 
We're gonna go and do a different one now. Oh god, so many freaking uh, loans. But yeah, there's... <clears throat> Um, so yeah, so I do apologize for the fact that we'll be discontinuing this, because I know a lot of people were really into it and were, like, really enjoying it, and so I am sorry to cut it short, relatively short, you know, because that's something that, that's something that always troubled me. It's like, it's like, will people think I'm, like, you know, a sellout? Not actually, I don't really worry about that, honestly, but, like, people are, I, you know, I, I do worry, I'm like, do people think I'm just doing it for the views and stuff? Not that I should really care about that, I guess, because I, you know, I know that I'm not. I'm just doing what works with my schedule and, you know, being realistic. But at the same time, there is an aspect where it's like, I, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm just doing it. And then right when it starts dropping off in views, not that it has even, then I switch to something else. Um, not to mention beyond that, there's just like a sort of a, there's a little bit of a correlation. Uh, there is, there is sort of a correlation where um, when a series is just starting out, um, it, that's when it gets the most views. However, I don't normally use that as my basis for success because I don't think that the views is important. Um, so I don't want you guys to think that that's why I'm starting another series so quickly is because of the initial boost. It's just because of the, you know, expansion coming out and stuff. Um, so I do, you know, I do go, I want you, that's why I'm kind of talking about this in this video is I want you guys to, to sort of, uh, to get your opinion and, and, uh, and stuff. But yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not, I, if I do feel a little bad, honestly, that I'm uh, wrapping up the campaign early because I know how much lots of you guys were enjoying it. So, but that's okay. We're going to do other stuff. And that's kind of why I want, want your feedback now for what campaign do you want in the new patch? You know, you can help decide what we're going to do in the next patch. Um, are we going to do, you know, are we going to do a... Um, are you going to do a Japan campaign, a China campaign, a Diviet, or Tibet, or what? You know, I, or Korea. Uh, I want to know what you guys, uh, I want to really know what you guys actually want to see on the channel next. I, and now I'll tell you my thoughts um, and stuff. Um, I have been, I have been thinking about doing a Japan campaign, because I've never played as Japan or any of the daimyos. Is that how you say that? I don't know. But any of the daimyos under Japan, I've never played as anyone in Japan, ever. So I think it would be pretty cool to play as either Japan or a daimyo to become Japan, with the goal of becoming Japan, you know, or uniting Japan or whatever. I, you know, I've never done that, so it would be really cool to me if we did that. It would be quite cool indeed. Um... So that's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I'm thinking is like doing a Japan campaign because that's also like one of the more popular nations uh, outside of Europe in EU4 I know and I can see why well, it's a very interesting country you know and I, I really would enjoy playing as Japan I'm pretty sure. But at the same time I could play as uh, Tibet is really cool. I took a uh, intro to, to Buddhism class last semester. I don't know, I've talked about it on stream and stuff but not really on camera I don't think so. But like, um, you know, last semester I took an intro to Buddhism class, and there's a lot of different types of Buddhism, and that's one thing, well, this is a whole other topic, but there's like, you know, there's hundreds of schools of Buddhist thought, so it's kind of hard to say, you know, there's this many types of Buddhism even, but um, it's hard to even say that Buddhism is just one religion, because it's, it's not really. Um, the Council of Skian, okay. But anyway, so, but in general, uh, but one of the, the kind of iconic, sort of well-known types of Buddhism is Vajrayana, which we can't see, but the Vajrayana type of Buddhism that is in, uh, that is unique to Tibet. We should, you know, we should just colonize, why not? You know, it's unique to Tibet, and so that'd be kind of cool to, to do something like that and play as them and kind of try to form a Tibetan uh, empire, you know, that could be fun, since I know a little bit of the backstory and history of the the religious background of the area, at least a tiny bit, very minimal. I have to emphasize. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm an expert on on Buddhism and uh, Tibet. No, I'm not. I'm like a freaking you know noob. That, that's not really how you describe that. You know what I mean? I'm I'm just saying that I know enough for it to like kind of pique my interest, which is kind of what EU4 in general does for me. Um, EU4 in general for me is like, you know. You know a little bit about this period of time. All right, well, here's a sandbox with everything set up. And also, you learn a little bit about geography and a little bit of the larger historical movements. 
Although you obviously can't really say that, you know, um, what's a good example in this campaign? You can't really say that, you know, Thaumann ate all of Scotland and, <laughs> or a good chunk of Scotland and then the rest of Ireland, you know, in the year 1490 or whatever. You know, but it's still kind of cool. It piques your interest. Uh, knowing some historical background really piques your interest in games like EO4. Burgundy is really strong in this campaign. It's actually kind of crazy. I'm a little surprised. I would ally them, but of course you can't really. We can't. Ah, uh, man, they're going to be... If we did continue this campaign long term, it would be quite interesting to see how everything played out. What is that? English peasants. Okay. But, uh... Ooh, Arawak. Nice. We need our contribution if we're ever going to pay. Like, we are, we're we taking so many loans. But anyway, but yeah, I don't know. If we do play as Japan, which I'm leaning towards again, I'm not sure um, what sort of, if we're going to do any roleplay stuff and do any specific goals or just try to unify Japan and then go from there, you know. But I am, um, I am... What was I going to say? Oh, nice. Subsidies. I don't remember what I was going to say now. I don't know. I, I just... Uh, I, I really want your guys' feedback is the main thing I was going to say. Is I just, uh, just kind of want to know what you guys want to see and whatnot. Um, since that is... Since that is going to be... Uh, you know, it's, it's all about what you guys want to see. I, well, and what I kind of want to do. You know, <laughs> it's about both. But um, but you guys should have a say in it, basically, is my is my thoughts. Um, so I want you guys to, to tell me your thoughts. Tell me what is uh, your preference out of the nations that are going to be, you know, expanded upon in the expansion and stuff. Um... And I will take it into consideration. Tell me your thoughts about, um, you know, how this campaign went, what I could have done better, what I could do better in the future. You know, stuff like that. Hmm. But anywho, I've talked a lot. I mean, we've, we've spent almost like 15 minutes already just kind of talking about stuff that's not even related to this campaign. Uh, and again, it's not over yet. I do want to do at least one more episode beyond this, but we're definitely not going to have time to, like, come even close to getting it and even if we had played forever i'm not sure if we would have gotten it i think there's a okay chance we would have right now if you ask me to say our chances of getting the the achievement in this run in this run i would say the chances of me getting it are maybe 30 percent which is not bad it's still doable and especially if we can keep good defensive allies it's too totally doable um, cause what you do is you just, you know, colonize until you have a big enough economic base that you just murk up and destroy everyone, you know? And then that's, and then that's pretty good. But it's totally doable in this situation. I just don't know if I would have been able to do it, especially on camera. I have a bad habit of not paying good enough attention on camera because I'm focusing on talking to you guys to a certain extent. Uh, which is fine. It's just kind of, you know, the cost of doing business if you're going to be doing a YouTube channel. Okay. But anywho, I hope you uh, you guys understand, though. Um. But anywho, I think that, uh, I don't... England has declared war on us. Really? Really? Wow. Aggressive much? Uh, that's interesting. Alright, cool. We're gonna go out with a bang, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and... I suppose get this... Get these guys back here. Let's get an admiral. Okay. So, um... That's kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Let's, uh... I'll be honest there. I was not expecting that at all. Um, wow, what are we going to do about this? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess we're probably just going to die. But yeah, at least we have some allies in this one, you know. Sweden is a little bit 
uppity right now. So that could be a problem, but probably not. Okay. Um, yeah, that was, that actually took me quite by surprise, I would have to be honest. But, uh, I didn't think anyone was going to declare a war on us right now. I mean, it makes sense that they would eventually, but over allied to Austria, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, you know? It's a little more surprising when you look at our allies, but... Hmm, oh, no. Yeah, I don't know what I expected there. I'm curious. Let's see if we can trap their army in Ireland or something. Maybe not. Probably going to go for our army, if I had to imagine. Yeah, they're going straight for our army. If we could get Denmark to attach to us or Norway, then we might actually be okay. Uh, as it is... Our navy will get absolutely wrecked. Oh god, did not realize that's what I was. Oh god, I didn't realize. I should have looked where they're coming from. Because I ran out to meet them. That's so stupid of me. That's so stupid of me. Yeah, well, we would have lost this war anyways. Um, maybe not lost it, but I had no idea they were going to declare war on me. It was a surprise, even though, again, it really. Shouldn't have been a surprise, but it was for some reason, so. Um, yeah, wow, England is strong in this game. You know, that's another thing. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, maybe we'll just end this campaign here. Because <laughs> I think we're just going to lose this war anyways. Ooh, there's a big old battle, and we lost. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it, I think. Yeah, maybe we'll just wrap up this campaign in this episode anyways. This seems like a logical conclusion. I would say now my odds of us winning have uh, significantly gone down. Because, like, the thing is, we could... I mean, actually, we still have a chance, even after this, if you look at the long term. Because you can, you can run to the new world and whatever. Um, and that normally... I've done that before. You know, I did that in... Uh, I, I have the, the Re Reconquista. I have that achievement. And I did that then. I ran to the Americas, like, about this far into the game. It wasn't like I did it right away, like you're, you're recommended to. I did it late, and I still managed to live long enough to build up a superpower in the Americas, and then come over here and wreck, um, you know, wreck Spain. So it's totally, totally doable, maybe, in this situation. The only difference is that you start with decent money in uh, Granada's situation. But still, though, you guys know what I mean, that it's like, you know, um... <clears throat> There's a chance, but it's a low chance, I would say. So, yeah, we're definitely going to lose this war, but, you know, we'll go on speed 5, see what happens here. Uh, but basically, I do think that uh, this campaign is over. So after this episode, this will be the last episode. We'll just get to a logical conclusion and uh, and sort of wrap it up there. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this campaign. Again, I really want to have your feedback. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so we'll be back in a couple of days. I'm not ending this just yet, but... Uh, we'll be back in a couple days with the Mandate of Heaven expansion. Until then, I might just take a break until I am able to record it. So, anyways, but either way, I, I do I do think that this, this achievement is very doable. It's not really, like, an impossible achievement. Um, it's just gonna, it would just take some work, you know. And there we go, our army got stack wiped, our navy is dead. Yeah, so, uh... That's going to be us gone, I'm pretty sure. The funny thing is, if we lasted long enough, we might be able to get out of it with not too many losses. If we just went long enough. And the reason why I think that is because of the fact that we could... They The only way that they have that thing happen where it gives them a 100% war score is if they have you full occupied. And they wouldn't have us full occupied until they got Shetland. They probably will eventually go over there, but... There's a chance that they just don't and forget to. Sometimes they do that. Hmm. But either way, uh, one thing that was surprising, we could talk about this, one thing that has been really surprising to me is how strong England has been in this game. And in, in this patch, to a lesser extent, in this patch, 
in general, England has gotten stronger, I think, and France has, as a result, kind of suffered. Uh, they're not as strong as they used to be. Um, hmm. Just with the way they restructured stuff in here. But, I don't know. I, I also think that we just got kind of unlucky and that Burgundy was really strong this game. France was, uh, this is probably one of the weaker Frances I've seen. It's not even that they're weak. They're still obviously strong. You don't want to mess with them. But they have expanded basically zero. Actually, yeah, let's look at this. They they haven't taken a single province. This one, because this one is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they haven't taken a single province um, that they didn't... that they didn't start with. Um... Which is crazy, you know? That's really, really not the norm, obviously. So it's, uh, it's very surprising to me just how weak this France was um, and whatnot. Ooh, we have new infantry, yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, this is why I kind of said, hey, maybe if we kept going, we would actually be able to do all right in this war. Oh my god, we can get a white piece right now? Wow, that's incredible. I didn't think that was ever gonna be an option at all. Wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Huh. I guess we're a little stronger than I thought. Hmm. Now they have a lot more though, which is not good. And now that they got that occupied, they're gonna have a 100% war score, aren't they? Unless all well, these rebels are gonna take some back. Huh. Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's have fun. <laughs> cool, so we actually got out of that war with the white piece, which is actually, it's not too surprising to me. Again, I did, I did say that if I had been paying attention, I probably could have actually done all right in that war. But, um, let's merc up and tank our economy again. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I do think I think we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode and this this series here. Um, I think it's come to its log logical conclusion with you know knowing that we're gonna be having a new expansion soon. I don't think there's much point in us going much longer if we know we're just gonna have to stop it anyways. Uh, I mean, we don't have to again, but it's just so much it's less convenient to have to um, be just, you know constantly opting into the beta patch or. It's not a beta patch, though, but it's a, you know, the old patch. I'd rather just end it here and say it's inconcluded, inc un, in, uh, what's the word for? inconclusive here. Yeah, the inconclusive ending, and we'll come back later and deal with it again, restart over. It's not necessarily that I'm admitting defeat even, you know, don't try to say that. Uh, it's just, you know, we're, we're uh, letting our skills and our knowledge mature. Nah, I'm just kidding, you know what I mean. Um... But yeah, that, that's basically it. So hopefully you guys understand my reasoning. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here as we fall into Civil War, Revolution. Uh, you know, Rise Up, Seize the Means of Production, and all that. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up this series here. I have enjoyed this. Um, I really, there was a lot more feedback than I've ever had on any previous EU4 series. Uh, although the, the Netherlands one that was before this did pretty well as well. Um, but they... <laughs> that was gonna say, but uh, in any case, I really have appreciated all the feedback and stuff. I hope to, I hope we get that same level of uh, feedback on the next series of whatever we do, um, and stuff. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys on, you know, whatever series we do next. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, please leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in another episode. And farewell, Ireland. Bye bye.